Well, the governor says he was hoping it wouldn't come to this. He knows these are drastic measures and our economy will take a hit, but he's tired of hearing that non-essential businesses are staying open. If home means Nevada, we stay home for Nevada. First, he shut down schools. Then he shut down gaming and the Las Vegas Strip went dark. This is our only chance at flattening the curve. Now Governor Steve Sisolak is telling other non-essential businesses it's time to close your doors. First I asked, that didn't work. Then I ordered, if this doesn't work, they will face appropriate civil and criminal penalties as a result. He was frustrated to hear some aren't listening. We know that not everyone is stepping up. And for those of you who've reached out frustrated that certain business or leaders are endangering your families with their reckless decisions, I agree. The governor warned Nevada only has around 5,000 hospital beds. Fewer than 700 of those are in intensive care units. Right now, more than 80% of all those beds are occupied with a mix of COVID-19 and other patients. So if cases spike, there will be no beds to set broken bones treat heart attacks. Without enough beds, ventilators and other supplies, doctors will be forced to choose who to treat. Don't put our doctors in that position. Don't put your family through that heartache. That's why the governor stresses closing now is the only way to spare our health care system. I won't let my inaction make this crisis worse. I won't look back in the months ahead and say I wish I did more sooner. I asked the governor how people can report a non-essential business that is still open. He said, do not call 911. That is only for emergencies and Metro Police already have enough on their plates. But in Clark County, you can call 311 to report it. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.